let's look at three different ways you can bring files into Silhouette Studio. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and I do hope that you plan on joining our little community. We would absolutely love to have you. This is a quick tutorial with a lot of information. So if everyone is ready, let's do this. When you're using the basic or free edition of the software, you are able to import files from this list here. You can pause to read, but most often you're going to be working with vector files. And in the basic edition, that means either DFX files or Silhouette Studio files, or you can use raster images, think JPEG and PNG, and use the trace panel to turn them into vector files. We can get into more of that at a later date. Right now, we're just going to figure out how to get these images into Silhouette Studio. Let's take a look at Silhouette Studio files first. We're going to head to the Silhouette Design Store. I like this file here. I'm just going to click on that and then the screen is going to open. Now I have credits available to use so I can click on this express button and it will take the credits right out of my account. If you do not have credits available, then you're going to go through and add it to the shopping cart and finish up with the checkout process. I'm going to go ahead and hit the express button. It's going to say my credits will be debited by $1. I'm going to hit proceed. At this point, you can either download the item or view the receipt or just cancel this and close it out and the file will still go into your Silhouette Studio library. I'm gonna go ahead and download the item. Now I'm going to go back to Silhouette Studio, click on my library. The file will be in my recent downloads. Right now it is syncing, it just takes a minute, and there is the file. Now if I right click on this, you can see that I have the option to open this, or merge it. Now open is going to take this file and put it on a brand new design mat. Merge will open the file and put it on the design mat that I already have open. Nine times out of ten I choose merge but that's because I like to have my page set up completely before I start any design process. So I'm going to click on merge and you can see that it brought the file in to Silhouette Studio. If you go to a site that sells designs like Creative Fabrica, you can find DFX files to purchase for download. Choose one to download. You're going to have to unzip the file before you can use it in Silhouette Studio. So download, then unzip. Then you're going to come up here to File, click on that. And again, you're going to have the option to open a file or merge the file. This time I'm going to choose open. This will take me to my downloads. I need to find that unzipped folder, open that up and choose the DFX file. Now last but not least, we are going to look at the drag and drop method. We're going to come up to this little button here and we are going to set Silhouette Studio to one half of our screen. And we're going to put our downloads as the other half of the screen. This is the file that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica, so let's open that folder. And now we can just grab this DFX file and bring it right onto the map. I do hope that you found that helpful. If you have questions or just want to show off your work, go ahead and head over to the Book of Faces. Join our group. It is Silhouette Success over there as well, and I'll put a link in the description below. Now go create something amazing, and I will see you in the next video.